Our goal is nothing more nor less than a world set free in our lifetime. That's from the preamble of our party platform. A simple statement of principle like that is enough for those of us who love liberty, which I believe is everybody here on stage and all of you in the audience. But it's not enough for most voters. I mentioned my work in industrial organizational psychology. I understand that most people need to see something that's believable, something they believe will lead to their goals. Their goals of more affordable health care, a cleaner environment, higher education, higher quality education, and help for those who need it. Please join me in my campaign at JoJ2020.com. That's JoJ2020.com. Thank you. And we are offering pizza. Where are we offering pizza? Ah. OK. My campaign is serving pizza for lunch if you'd like to join us. And if I have a message, I'd like to meet you individually. Before we have a round of applause, I want something from you guys. How many of the candidates, raise your hand, if you live in Concord, New Hampshire? That's nobody. They all traveled to get here. Running for office is not easy. We have a debt to these people because they are doing it for liberty. How many people in the audience think you can't vote until November for a libertarian? That's not true because you can vote right now by finding the candidate who appeals to you and donating some of your money because they have to travel more. This is not easy. Libertarians <laughs> always honor contracts. We always pay debts. We are in these people's debts. Now, candidates, I would like to ask you to rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you all, we'll see you after lunch.